Hey everybody, it's Bjorn from WP Learning Lab. In this video, I'm going to show you how to create a Google Analytics goal that will help you track your conversions and conversion rate for a specific activity on your website. Now, in order to make this work, you need to have two things. You need to have a Google Analytics account and that code needs to be installed on your website. And secondly, you need an activity that you want to convert, that you want to count as a conversion on your website. That can be time spent on a page. For example, if you have a sales video page, if the sales video is nine minutes long, then your conversion or your goal could be that people stay on there for nine minutes or more. That could count as a conversion. The most common conversions that we use are page conversions. So people land on one page and they are, we want them to go to another page after that. And when they make that transition to the other page, that counts as a conversion in our goal tracking. And that's the one I'm going to show you how to build. So I created two very simple pages on our test site. There's one called the landing page. So this would normally be an opt-in where they sign up for something. And then there is a delivery page where they receive the opt-in. So we have these two pages and we have these two URLs. And now we need to go into Google Analytics to create our goal. So I'm in the analytics account for our demo site. and to create the goals, you need to click on the admin link at the top. On the far right hand side, there's a link called goals. Click on that. And you should see a new goal button at the top in red. If you don't, then you're either not the administrator of that account or you don't have sufficient permissions granted to you by the administrator. So you'll have to contact the admin in order to get your permissions set up properly so you see that button. If you do see that button, go ahead and click on it. On the next page, you'll see all the different types of goals that Google has a template for already. There's a revenue goal to one of them right now. So if someone places an order, that would be that goal. There's the acquisition goals, create an account, inquiry, people fill out contact us, read reviews, phone you, they live chat, or they update their software if you're selling software. That Those count as inquiry goals. And there's engagement goals. They compare information, add stuff to favorites, play videos or music, share social or share on social, and sign up. And there's also the option to do custom so you can build your own. But the example I'm going to show you today is a sign up example. So we click on whatever one you want to choose. And then Google is really good with instructions. So even if you're not using this sign up goal, if you're using a different one, they'll explain to you what to do. So we're going to do the sign up as an example. I'm going to click on next step. We can give it a name. You want to give it a good name, so if you're looking at it in the analytics reports, you know what it means. So I'm going to call this a demo site opt-in. Then you want to choose a goal slot ID, which is basically, you can't have two goals having the same ID. So if this is your fifth goal that you're creating, you're going to want to choose goal ID 5. When you run out of IDs, as you can see there are 20 of them, you have to create a new view for your Google Analytics um, site. So for example, I'll show you to you right now. This is uh, this is the property name of the demo site. And then this is the view. You can have a whole bunch of different views. In fact, you can have 25 different views. So if you run out of goals, if you make 20 goals and you want to make more, you just create a new view. You just fill in a couple fields and then you can create goals under that view. But that's not the point of this video. I'm going to go back to the goals now. New goal, sign up. Okay, demo site opt in. Now, what we want to have is a destination as our goal. You can also have a duration. So, that, that was my example earlier with the nine minutes or more for watching a video. You can have goals be the number of pages someone watches or someone views, or an event like playing a video. So, I'm going to choose destination as the goal. I'm going to click on next step. Now it's asking for the destination URL, which is our delivery page, which is this one right here. This is our goal page. So if someone comes to that page, they, they're a conversion. They, they have done the action that we want them to. And you want to remove your domain name from the front. It says that in the instructions right below. So you want to have just the slug, as WordPress calls it, with the forward slashes. And you can add a value to that um, goal as well. So if that opt-in 
say you have your your marketing funnel figured out and you know that every opt-in generates eight dollars of revenue for you then you could turn the value on and add eight dollars here and they'll it'll track the value of that opt-in inside your LX account and then we also have the option of having a funnel which we do in this case because we want them to go somewhere first before they sign up so we want them to be on the landing page first so we'll copy that URL we'll call it landing page paste the URL in there in this case we also want to have just the slug and you have the option of making it required or not to count towards your your goal numbers and I usually have this as yes because if someone goes to the delivery page, say the delivery page is indexed by Google and someone goes to read the search engine, it, they didn't really convert. They got your stuff for free. So I like to make this required to make our uh, goals more accurate. And then if you do have some analytics data, you can click on verify this goal. And then you might show a conversion percentage here already where Google goes back, looks at the past seven days of data to see if this goal is actually functioning, to see if this is correct and it won't actually show the last seven days in your reports. It only shows data from the day you create the goal forward. It doesn't backdate the data. So after this goal, after all these fields are filled in, all we have to do is click on create goal and it's created. And we can create 19 more goals as it says here. So this goal is now live on the site and the website is watching to see if people visit the landing page and then visit the delivery page. If they do, that counts as a conversion. And the place where you can see those results is if you go to reporting inside Google Analytics and we scroll down to conversions and click on goals. And then there's a bunch of options under goals. Overview, we'll give you an overview of all your goals. You can choose specific ones if you just want specific data for a specific goal or it'll tell you all goals. The, my favorite one is the funnel visualization. So in this case, we only have a two-step funnel, but if we had a five-step funnel, there'd be five boxes here, and it'd show the conversion rate of every step in the funnel. And then you can do things like cart abandonment analysis and figure out which part of your funnel is broken and improve it and get more conversions and more revenue that way. And once you have data running through this, you'll see the, the green side on the left is how many people have gone to the landing page on the right is how many people have exited and the down arrow will show how many people have gone on to the next step and that's all there is that's all there is to creating goals in Google Analytics I encourage you to create one today even if it's just a really arbitrary one like checking uh, or a goal being how many page views someone does on your website and say it's only two page views you're gonna get a lot of conversions probably but just to get your feet wet and start trying it out I really encourage you to go into Google Analytics and set up a goal I hope this video helps you. My name is Bjorn Allpass from WP Learning Lab. Please make sure you like this video if it helped you. Check out our social media feeds, subscribe to our YouTube channel, and check out WPLearningLab.com where we write about WordPress every single day. Talk to you soon.